Oh, here we go. Now we're rolling. Okay, so this is David. And David, my name is Buen Kaznewe. Um, Buen Kaznewe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so he, he, he lives in South Wales, but we're here at the Estevad at the learner's tent. And uh, we're both learners, Welsh learners. This girl from right. Yeah, yeah. And so you come from Kasnev originally. No. No. Okay. So he comes from Qumran originally. Now, most of the people are going to be speaking English, but we'll go back and forth because we need to. We're in the learner's tent, right? Um, but then when he was eight, he moved to Virginia. Virginia. And I mean, listen to his accent. Springfield, Burke, Virginia, Northern Virginia. Okay, that's the, the distant echoes of a Welsh <laughs> accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sounds pretty American. And but now he's been living back here since when? Uh, Two thousand four or five. Yeah. Okay, so I had questions for uh, David about Welsh independence. So here yeah. is an American influenced yeah. Welshman living in South Wales. And what do you think about this move for independence? Well, I think it's long overdue, actually. Um, you know, I think um, uh, Wales has been downtrodden for so many centuries. Its culture, its language, um, um, ridiculed even in certain periods of time. And, you know, I, I, think, um, I think it may be healthy for a division amongst the Isles, yeah. you know, such as Brexit might bring about. For the country, I mean, I think, I think um, you have to realize there's diversity on these islands. Right, right, right. Um, Ireland started that move in the 20s when they gained independence, and we have to understand that 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 is not only Wales or England. There's Scotland, there's Cornwall, the Isle of Man, other other extremities of of in, of of, of, of um, minorities and things like this. Right. So, in terms of Welsh independence, I think it's long overdue. Yeah. Yeah. So, so to you, it probably feels a little bit like the the dragon has arisen a bit, huh? Of dragging it a the bit. The dragon has arisen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it has. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we need to have more well spoken in the schools, though, and amongst people who live right. a, live across the country. Right. More pride right. in the language, yeah, even, yeah, especially yeah. amongst yeah, yeah. southeasterners who speak more English than Welsh generally. So, yeah. Right. Right. So, uh, you know, I, I was mentioning that back in May I came here. And it didn't even seem like there were whispers no, in, the no. Misma, in the middle of the month of May. No. Didn't seem like there were even whispers of this kind of movement of interest in independence. What happened in a two, two and a half short months? Well, a man named Adam Price came along as one thing. And he, um, he, he became the leader of Pride Company. Party with ambitious, Wales, yeah. yeah. With an ambitious um, desire to, to bring independence to Wales within a set time frame. Wow, and um, and um, he's an eloquent voice in of it, isn't he? An eloquent speaker, yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw Harvard, him. He's been educated at Cardiff and Harvard University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he, he was at Harvard while I was living in Salem, Mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him speak at the Hay Festival, and I have to say, it was impressive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and, and also we've been let down by the. Countless Westminster governments have been talking about that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But we have been let down by Westminster governments time after time after time. Okay. And finally, when devolution comes along in late 90s, 20 years later, we're still not fully independent. Right. Uh, well, David. So this is where that call is coming from. Yeah. Joe, come hurry on. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>